，你好，祝你有美好的一天。这就是频道 Celebrity News Today 两百四十七，这是今天的新闻。Chasing you, Gu Yao at Xiao John, but was amazed by Fang Yilun who appeared by chance. A new wave of trailers for you, Gu Yao Yao was released, and sure enough, it caused the whole network to boil again. It was only a two and a half. Minute short film. It mainly describes the peerless sadomasochism of the male and female protagonists, and the love between the master and the apprentice is doomed to be bumpy. Although the ancient sayings of fantasy are not new at the moment, the plot of the play is ups and downs and very bloody and full of highlights. It can perfectly meet the needs of the audience. The male and female protagonists are originally a master-disciple relationship, but the female protagonist has a heart. The male protagonist killed the first love of the female protagonist by mistake, and willingly died under the sword of the female protagonist, full of hatred. And then the female protagonist resurrected the male protagonist, and the male protagonist gave up the throne for the female protagonist and became a prince. There are the most important misunderstanding and abuse points, and family disputes have also been added. The throne seizes power, and there is also a mermaid element. It is a bit difficult to expect anything. Of course, what the audience wants to see the most is the confrontation between Xiao Zhan and Ren Min. Xiao Zhan is now a post 90s student. The existence of popularity and strength is like a handle, and the appearance is completely in line with the setting of the romantic male protagonist. In the trailer, he perfectly grasped the contrast of the male protagonist's cold appearance and overflowing inner love, and it interprets the broken feeling of Shi Ying vividly. It was originally a drama chasing after Xiao Zhan. Unexpectedly, Fang Yilun, who accidentally appeared on the scene, was amazed. I have to say that director Jiang Jiajun's vision is perfect. All the cast members are online. Xiao Zhan is enough. And the second male lead is also very eye-catching. Being loved by the heroine but not loving the heroine, dying in the hands of the hero makes people feel uneasy. Yu Gaiao tells the story of the ups and downs of the love story between Zhu Yan, the princess of the Qi tribe, and Shi Ying, the priest. The relationship between the two of them is that of master and apprentice. Shi Ying was sent to the mountains to practice due to a prophecy: no contact with women until the age of 18. Zhu Yan happened to bump into Shi Ying by mistake. The Chizhu King entrusted it to the male protagonist, and the fate of the two began. Fang Yilun's The Yuan is actually the third male in the novel, and the drama was adapted into a second male with a lot of roles. The Yuan was the leader of the Higuo and the Zhuoquan envoy of the Marin Restoration Army. When he was still a slave of the Merman, he was rescued by Zhu Yan's great grandmother Qi Zhu Feili. So the Yuan doesn't like the heroine. He always loved the heroine's great grandmother, and later he helped to quell the civil unrest and supported the new king to win the gold medal. The Yuan loves Chizhu Feili, so he also loves Zhu Yan. But this love is more like the love for her daughter or younger generation. He protects the heroine's life every step of the way, which also makes Zhu Yan, who has not yet been deeply involved in the world, feel a different sprouting. The Yuan's life was tragic. He was a merman, but fell in love with a human being. This relationship is destined to be fruitless. He could only look around the world and keep the secrets in his heart. Since Shi Ying the Yuan has the bloodline of the Sea Emperor, at the beginning, Da Siming's prophecy was that Gui Xie will perish. Kong Sang and the Emperor of the Sea must die. So the Yuan was killed in the Hei Yanping illusion. As a shark, he should have stayed away from humans. K. The Yuan was willing to stay in the Qi clan in order to repay his kindness. He knew that he and Qi Zhu Feili could not have any results, but he still fell in love and immersed in it, protecting the Qi Zhu for generations. This seems to have become a matter of course for the Yuan. After many years, he is used to seeing sadness and reunion. You can only live in useless thoughts. Not only love, but even life is destined to fail. It's just a tool for the male and female protagonists to abuse. After eight years of tepid crossover, Fang Yilun should be out of the circle this time, right? Fang Yilun first started as a trainee in Korea and made his debut, so the external conditions and business ability are not to be said. In 2014, he began to enter the entertainment industry and starred in many idol dramas, but most of them were small supporting roles with few roles. Until 2019, 
he became famous as the bodyguard Lu Xu Wen in the online drama Peerless Daughter. Fang Yil Un's handsome appearance and high and cold temperament are eye catching, which also opened up his ancient clothing market. After seeing the role played by Fang Yilun, it is not difficult to find that he can fully support the male protagonist of online dramas. But most of the characters he chose were supporting roles with very interesting characters. And no matter what the setting can be played lively. For example, Nine Streams Overlord, Li Zhao, who is dandy and infatuated in the middle, is actually stupid and infatuated. He is only a second male but has won many praises, even better than the male lead. Long Song Sing Chinese Fang Yilun plays the third male Wei Shuyo, it is the only villain in the protagonist. The character is extremely unpleasant, cowardly and dare not speak or even betray, but still left a deep impression on the audience. Whether it is a gentle scholar, the prince of the high, cold western regions is still an elegant bodyguard, Fang Yilun can handle it. The appearance and acting skills are not bad, and it is really uncommon to never do things and only play your role in a low, key manner. Perhaps it is the reason why he lived and practiced in South Korea, Fang Yilun's modern clothes have a feeling of beautiful man. This doesn't hang up many cross, border acting stars in the entertainment circle. I don't know when they will be able to get out of the circle. Anyway, Yugu Yao finally has news, and it is about to enter the summer season. I don't know if it can meet the audience at this time. Are you looking forward to it?